hi guys this is sonu kumar today i am going to give you the give you the idea about the how we can debug the our ui for the ui debugging first we not first we have to open the some ui any any ui suppose that this is our google google news we are just open this news okay this is our ui in that ui a lot of lot of contents is there so for debug for debugging purpose we need to click on the f12 button that is on our keyboard after clicking on the f12 button you will see a different console in that console there is a lot of things mentioned first elements console source network timeline profile application security audit ad block in elements there is a sub tabs like a style compute event listener dom breaks property lot of things today you will come to know lot of things how we can debug the ui this is a this is a rough example if you want to debug your project code you can also do like that okay i just want to show you some uh, some keyword some technique here okay let's start with explanation of the e tab let's start with this uh, this element this is a uh, first let me explain the elements elements means what what about the content you are going you are showing on the ui that is called the elements in html all the things come under the html if i click if i show if i move our cursor on that body you will see on the screen all the screen captured in a blue blue color that means shows that ki this this uh, this content is showing here right okay if you want to expl if you if you want to see the what is what is the code behind that then you can click right click and there is a one one option inspect if you click on the inspect it will goes to the directly here national heart case code is written here you can see here all the codes all the titles is written here if you want to see inside that what is inside that there that is written this is a headline so here is a style a style means what what about the style color what about the brand width all things are is come under the styles here if you want to change the color then you can see here look if i remove that color suppose that i give a different color here suppose that i mention here different color like 90 so according to according to this you can give all the colors in your ui ui text compute compute just describe the where is your contact in our screen here is the margin is the border and padding and auto about that elements event listener event listener is what whatever the listener we are imposing on our page that's called the event listener and okay okay not too much in elements if you want to debug you will come to know all the things suppose that we right now we are going to discuss a console in console what console means whatever you are going to see right now that is called a console if there is any error come on the console you will see here no error warning if there is any warning that will come here any information that will come that will show here here all thing will so source source means that key from where that's contents comes 
that news from where that news is coming to our page so there is a source google server news.google.coin from there from there we are getting this resource at uh, this content a lot of api also using here like you can see here api is google.com client 5 google.com cgi is google.com encrypted google dot encrypted tv this this are the server this these are the source 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 of our mess our uh, news as a script a script means what uh, google dictionary we are using here google translation these are the script where you can see here all things are imposing on this uh, content nothing is here okay our fourth tab is network if you want to see the network what kinds of request sorry friends uh, network issue so we can debug our ui what ui through that that this is this is the technique in the chrome through which we can debug our uh, UI if you want to know what is the coding behind that uh, image. So we can debug through the whatever the concept I given here. Through that uh, you can debug your UI very easily. Lot of tab. Uh, this tab, timeline, profile, application security. We can use this tab also if there is a requirement. I have some network issues so let's see yeah here you can see here here what is this this is a request this is the request we are going to show this is JS file sorry this is a JS file if you click on the all here you can see 200 200 is a status a status of our request if we if a status is 200 it means that whatever the request we are sending we are getting this correct response that is called what that is fine here you can see here css this css we are using in our page this css also we are using in our page image uh, this kinds of image we are using in our this image because if you want to see this image this image is a this is a response this is a response of our request you can see that image somewhere here this is the image we are getting from the google server here in one request there is a header review response and timing request we are hitting we are hitting this request we are getting what response we are getting response header what in a header lot of lot of messages is there access control age catch a control content length content type and this is a not our business part of business here you can see here the query whatever the query we are sending for our response media font what font is using what documents are using you know all you can see all the things whatever the content on the page which are requested by the client client means what client means user you can see here all the request whatever the request whatever the things comes from the google that will show here you can see all the things if you want to hide url then click here you will not see the url 
you want to clean then clean here if you want to record all the things 